Hello everyone, welcome to Coding Decoded. My name is Sanjay Tudeja. I am working as technical lead SD4 at Adobe and here I present weekly contest 295. This is the second question of the contest which is apply discount to prices. Here in this question we are given a sentence and in that sentence we are also given the hint that specifies that the current object is the price of an item. For example, whenever you see a dollar sign followed by an integer value that represents that this is the price of an object. We are also told the discount that gets applied onto these prices. We need to update this entire sentence after applying the discount percentage to these prices. For example, if the price of an object is $100 and discount is 50%, then the price would be updated to $50. Similarly, if the price is $1 as in this case and discount of 50% gets applied to it, the updated price would be equal to $0.5. Also in this question it is specified that we need to update the prices up to two decimal places. So this is very important. So uh, this more or less seems like a string manipulation question and this is what I have exactly done here. There is not a lot of logic involved in it. I can walk through the coding section and I am sure 90% of you will be able to understand it fully. The first and the foremost thing that I have done is to extract or tokenize the string by spaces. So I split the string by space it and I store it in the form of a list. I have created an answer variable too that will actually store my answer. Then I iterate over this list one by one and I check if it if the current string under consideration is a valid object to be discounted. Let's consider a few example. In the first case we have dollar followed by 23. As you can see after the dollar sign it contains all digits that means it represents the price of an object it's a happy case we will return true in those cases. In the second case we have dollar one to three Sanchez. As you can see we have a mix of characters English characters and digits therefore this doesn't represent the price of an object and we have to return false in those cases. Also there is another corner case we where we only have a dollar sign that's an invalid case as well. So this is what I have written over here if the string length is less than equal to one we return false. If the first initial character is not, it doesn't start with dollar, we return false. And also in case my character starting from the first index up till the length doesn't contain digits in it, then again we'll return false. In the last case, it's a happy case, we return true in those cases. Once we confirm that the current string under concentration represents the price of an object appropriately, what do we do? We, we parse that up into long format and then we calculate the updated price. So the updated price would be equal to, this is a mathematical formula of the selling price after applying the discount. So let's assume the value to be the cost price SP is equal to CP into cost price into 1 minus discount by 100. So this is what I studied in mathematics in 9th and 10th standard. I have applied the same formula over here and like uh, once I have calculated the selling price using uh, this formula that I just talked about, we format it into uh, up to two precisions as told in the question. You have to represent it with exactly two decimal places and once represented, I add it to my current sprint. Otherwise, if the string is not a valid uh, price, then I simply append it to my answer string and uh, don't forget to add spaces uh, while creating the final answer string. Once we have calculated that up, you create the substring starting from the zeroth index up till length minus one in order to trim the last extra space. So let's try this up. Accept it. Also I just checked that it takes a huge amount of time to execute the time complexity is poor. How can we improvise this further? You can improvise it using the hash map technique. So once you have calculated uh, the selling price of a particular object you can store it in the hash map and reuse it whenever you see the same string again. So this is another improvement that can, that you can be done in this question. With this let's wrap it up. I am solving more questions of the weekly contest and stay tuned for future videos.